there is a plane here somewhere, right? Hello? There it is. Oh, God, that was sneaky. Welcome to game number four of five, ladies and gentlemen, of September's Community Custom Games. My name is Jarasa, and we are finally on the green pastures of Erangel. It's taken us a little while, but we got here in the end. Let's go ahead and take a look at what this plane path is going to be. A nice, straightforward three o'clock to nine o'clock plane path, and phase one is already known to us. It's going to be centering in south of Pachinki. I also have a little bit of news. We've got a second 500 G coin code to give away to whoever knocks and kills Mark Power in this game. Just confirmation of a bonus little 500 G coin giveaway. It was Snow Key last game. We will be in touch with you after the end of the event. Don't you worry. Who's going to be this time around? Nice little surprise extra prize. Um, ruins and boatyard looking like they could end up being quite crowded. The free range chickens are here. Go back to sleep and co. Just kind of chilling out. The problem is level three legends are here as well. And it doesn't look like they want to give up the spot. Poco Hombre is having a last second change of mind here. And the level three legends will be landing on the north side. That was very close to being disastrous for Poco Hombre. I'm not going to lie. Picks up a shotgun to start things off. Why not? He's got two. <laughs> Wait, he's got a mini 14 in there. Excuse me. He has got the mini. Okay. The mini is enabled. That's interesting. I thought the mini would have been quite popular. Delzor picked the guns, by the way. So hashtag blame Dells in chat. We've got the M16 here. Gotta love the M16. Okay, maybe we don't. Not quite as much as the Mini, I will admit. Wasn't expecting to see Minis in here, but we have got them available. M16 Mini appears to be a popular loadout. We've now seen that amongst two people. Lots of M16s. A Dragonov? Really, Dell? We're gonna have a conversation here. Dr you think Dragonovs aren't popular? I have questions. I have questions, but a lot of the less popular guns are certainly in here. Uh, is that one, two, is it three teams? No, just the two teams in Pachinki as things currently stand. The Dino Crackers going up against, I believe, the Potatoes. Yes, indeed. Slevin, Rosspot, Ademption, and Donbass. We've got a Scar here. You know, there was a, a fleeting second when the Scar was going to be the meta. Then it sort of disappeared. It was looking promising, and then it got yanked away from us, didn't it? Not died here yet. It's going to not die yet in Lipovka. This loadout looks like it is Mini 14 Dragonov. Interesting. The solo Happy Hopping Hippo. In fact, we've had uh, solo hippos in multiple games tonight, so we're getting used to seeing that. One team in Ruins, two teams in Dockyard. And Dookie69, not to be confused with uh, Paper Ducky, who's a completely different player. He's having a go at Go Back to Sleep. Misses the first couple of shots from the Mini-14. They're not a crayon. Also in the same position, but Dookie opting to reposition. Gets hit by crayon. It's a lot of damage done by a crayon. Don't underestimate it. Full range chickens gets a knock. Poco Hombre, that's down to Mentanalist. Dark Rider. Now trying to get the knock onto Crayon. Who will be able to get back just enough to get a heal off. 4x single shot on the M16. Dark Rider gets the headshot onto Not a Crayon. Mentalist managing to get across quickly enough to get a quick res. Peter's going to think about moving in now. You don't want to be running there. You don't want to be running. He's off to the right-hand side. Yeah, he didn't see. He needed to be holding the angle and couldn't there, unfortunately. That's with the mutants as well. We love to see it. The burst fire on the mutant is so good, guys, honestly. Poker Hombre coming back for more, and Mentalist gives him some of what's what. Free range chickens here have now knocked three players. It's only Dark Rider left, unfortunately, and I don't think any of these reses are going to happen. 
Dark Rider is a stranded. What's this though? A pat coming in to sneak things out. We've stolen one kill. Doesn't look like we get away with two. But the damage has been done. Is Dark Rider gunning for revenge? I hope he is. I hope he is. With two bullets in the magazine. Might want to consider hitting R for reload at some point, but you know. Jumping into the water. I don't think there's any way up there. Pretty sure he has to go this way. No, he's going that way. Okay. He can go up via the shore, to be fair. That's exactly what he's going to do. Unfortunately, the free-range chickens there will probably be ready for him. Especially because they're looking this way already, because roadkill are properly in the open. How is Quagmire not knocked? He's getting so lucky. He's crawling the rest of the way. Super lucky there to not get knocked. Here comes a pat. He's got the Tommy gun. Full auto. Gotta love it. Go back to sleep. Ran a little bit too far. Hip fire to finish things off. That's a level 3 legend. Hip fire from the Tommy gun. Gets another one. The level 3 legend's eliminated and suddenly... Mentalist is going, hang on a second, how did this happen? Dark Rider's been taken out. Three members of Roadkill. Versus the solo free-range chicken of Mentalist. Lots of footsteps on the rest. On the rest, on the rest. And Hated will finish that off. Quagmire, first to loot. Roadkill are the team who landed ruins and they're the team that lost survive boatyard will you figure that out snoky also took out Ademption and slevin there the dino crackers will win the battle of pachinki let's take a look at what our other teams have been up to here's philemon adak all four alive no kills yet but looking like they are in rude health where is the power? There is the power. Oh my god! Mark Power and Team Adak involved in a high stakes, high speed chase here. Glancing off the tree, looking for Ectel. And they get him. Vehicles on fire. Team Power hunting down Team Eight. That is uh, some seer. Ooh, hello. That's some serious ice skatage there. And Team Power have just declared war. On Ada. Oh, hello. Wow, that was... Excuse me? I'm pretty sure that move is called something in skateboarding. Someone help me out there. That's Philemon in the coupe. Are they going to round out and try and uh, come around and hunt him down as well? Are we going to be playing... Mad Max here. Mark Powers. Killy has the kill. But they were ruthless in their hunt. And yes, here comes Adak. Philemon is on the hunt. 6x mini. Looking for Mark Power and Co. He's solo in that vehicle as well. Doesn't matter. We reload and we keep going. Belsarius in the Dacha. Looking for an alternative angle. Is he going to race through? Is he going to try and pick off an angle? He's going to pick off an angle. Get some hits. Odd guy doesn't know where he is yet. Opportunity to get some damage done. Oh, not so much more now. Down to 16 HP. Might want to consider backing out of there. And does. He's not safe yet. Needs to get down below the crest of this hill. Alternate angle here from Philemon. Maybe Philemon wants the 500G coin code. He wants to be the one to knock and kill Mark Power. That car's seen better days as well. Red Hot Chili Chickens. Originally involved. Towards the north side of the circle. Now eliminates Dangerous Hank and Co. Are getting a teammate back by the looks of things. And that's GG Destroyer. 
but they're being aggressed on by Roadkill. Roadkill, who landed ruins, went to Boatyard and beat both teams in Boatyard, remember? Now moving south, very close to Pachinki. See the evidence someone's there. The smoke grenades, in fact, just disappeared. Should tell them that someone was there about a minute ago as well. I don't think they know uh, there's a team coming in, to be honest. I think they moved away before they could hear the footsteps, so this could get very interesting indeed. We'll be keeping an eye on that. Next circle. Oh god, it's going to be a field's ending. That is rough. Very, very rough. Not died here yet. Started life in Lipovka. Is now at Lighthouse. Pretty solid rotation there, if I'm being perfectly honest. The keyboard warriors. Up to three. They've got a decent compound inside phase three. Derp skills Coldy and couple of whoops. Just chilling out here for now. Are we going to get this big fight? This is actually a long-range battle between the puzzle commandos and Philemon, who's down to 2 HP after daring to shoot at hack shots at a vehicle. We might be about to see some hashtag just hack shots things. Will he loop around and try 1v4 the team? Go on, hack shots. Do it. Do it. He opts to take a boring, more sensible position closer to the middle of the circle. Boo. That's fine. That is fine. We have another chase by the looks of things. And chasing a buggy, to be fair. One of the more vulnerable vehicles. Oh, we've got a revolver so we can shoot while driving. Gotta love it. Our time in Lone Ranger. Spotting a shack. Thinking about using it. I mean, this second shack isn't much better. And you can run through that as well. Not ideal. But it looks like this is where they're going to be making their bed for now, which is fair enough. Mark Power and Co. coming in now. The Power Rangers, one kill, of course. You saw that chase down earlier of them on Team ADAC. They're making their way into Circle now, so the story continues. I mean, this is a position. I don't know if it's a great position, but it's a position. The other one on Team ADAC. Moving straight up onto the Confuzzled Commandos now, managing to get two. Bear in mind they are only a duo themselves. Belsarius off to the right, but Philemon... Uh, has he got all the other angles covered? I think so, so Belsarius should be safe to look around while Philemon loots. We're okay. These are the guys I'm worried about. Roadkill. They see the smoke from the vehicles. There is evidence. Activity is there. Car is seen. Players not yet seen. Quagmire doing a good job of grabbing information so far. Oh, he just spotted Philemon. Uh, but Belsarius uh, sees him in time. Uh, that was critical. And Quagmire doesn't realize he's actually in the same direction. He gets knocked from the M16 of Belsarius. That was a really good clutch knock there. And Philemon can now think about pushing up the hill. Has he got a frag grenade? He does. Coldy with the third party. Philemon trying to ignore it, trying to shrug off the damage. First frag grenade falls short. Smoke's going up so they can get the revive in that second. Frag grenade's much better, but still a little bit short. Needs a third one. They're just beyond the smoke. Philemon coming in with the third. That could be good enough. It is good enough. Quagmire and Apart both going down there. And Hated is the last player up for this team. Philemon immediately looking for an angle. Going around the smokes. Hated trying to get Quagmire up towards where he is. Are we going to see some more grenades? Does it matter? Philemon from the side and Team Adak are up to four kills. All four on Philemon. Great stuff coming out of him there. In the meantime, oh god. It's a grenade party in this shack. It's the power shack. This is the love shack, ladies and gentlemen. Getting absolutely rained upon by the Dino Crackers right now. Mark Power and Co. are not going anywhere anytime soon.
They are at least in circle. Are they in circle? Where are they? Are they in circle? Yes, they are in circle. We're good. Dangerous Hank is going towards them though. Oh no. Is Dangerous Hank going towards them with the Molotov? I think he's going towards them with the Molotov. This could be dangerous. Here comes a flashbang. There's the Molly. Watch the Molly. It's on the outside of the shack. We're okay. Power and Co. survive somehow. And Dangerous Hank moves back. High risk, high reward play, but I love it. Chris K and Odd Guy taken down by Snokey. We took down Mark Tower in the previous game, remember? Snokey getting greedy now. Dangerous Hack now pushing in. Remember, he's got no lethals left. And he's getting third party to Helen back. Flashbangs out for everyone. That's a fantastic flashbang back. Snokey coming in as well. Six kills. Won't quite do it. He does not mark power though. But he's not dead yet. Here comes the trade. There's the trade. And Snokey, I think, is credited. Yes, he is. With killing Mark Power two games in a row. Dangerous Hank survives there. But he's very much... Uh, oh, God. I mean, he's Rizzle. Oh, God. Hun Rizzle. I will give away another 500 G coin code. As part of the raffle at the end of the weekend. If Hun Rizzle just walks to Dangerous Hank and doesn't get shot at. Because that's insane. Okay, yeah. Uh, it's like, how how on earth is it possible that, that... That shack looks like a taxi rank right now. I mean, Jesus Christ. What is going on? I can't believe Hun Rizzle managed to make this journey. You guys are sick. This is disgusting. This game makes no sense. I don't even understand anymore. What on earth is going on? Uh, Let Mike Smash is in a slightly questionable position. He's got nine bandages and half a dream. Yeah, he's he's very dead. Oh, I see. <laughs> he wasn't dead before. He sure is dead now. The princesses of Pachinki annihilating that happy hippo. The problem is everybody has to move in right now. You can see my little prony actually have the advantage here. Of being able to move in first. Unfortunately, because it's a little bit of a field ending, they kind of don't want to. The problem is there's another team on their back. They are between no rocks and no hard places. If there were rocks and hard places, they wouldn't be complaining as much right now. What on earth is going on? That's Lukma, I'm Famas. Lukma, I'm Famas. Morax, Adriana. What on earth are you doing? Oh my god. Oh my. Oh my god. Ginger Clowns, what is going on right now? Hackshots just about manages to save Ginger Clowns, but, but Morax, that could have been the backstab of the day. Extra frag grenade for good measure. That's actually a really good frag. Woo, that was a close call for the Confuzzled Commandos. My Little Pony off in the distance, absolutely not afraid of taking those shots. They're going to have to loot before you. Work time GG's. Thank you very much, Rigger. Really good to see you tonight. Have a fantastic time at work, mate, and I will catch you around soon. Thank you again. Keyboard Warriors getting absolutely destroyed by kickback right now. Is it enough to finish the job? It is indeed. Keyboard Warriors eliminated. We're now into a top five situation. Beast and kickback with three kills between them at the moment got a dash it. They are able to make their way into zone. They're going to have to third party. That's Pandemonium and Dino Crackers. Here comes Dave from accounting into the shack. Unfortunately, everyone they're fighting is currently knocked and they weren't able to spot the players from a little bit further afield. The Confuzzle Commandos are absolutely ripping that apart. Dino Crackers and Dangerous Hank getting their fifth kill. My Little Prony eliminated. Oh my god, it's actually just two. It's the Confuzzled Commandos and Dino Crackers. That is it. That is how crazy that fight was. We're going to have to get a slow motion replay of that. And even then, it might not be enough to work out what just went on. What we do know is that this game is a 2v2. We have Dangerous Hank and Hun Rizzle going up against Hackshots and Ginger Clown.
Not quite needable range yet. Really good spray from Dangerous Hank does damage. Not quite enough. There's a taxi rolling over trying to get a little bit of residual. That's a fantastic nade. Is it enough? I actually didn't see where it exploded. No, it's gone just a little bit too far. They're now splitting. And Hun Rizzle has a really good angle. Going on the off angle for Dangerous Hank. It doesn't work. Hackshots is there and ready with the scar. Dangerous Hank with the 2v1. He had the pan out. It's not enough. Hackshots gets that as well. Confuzzle Commandos up to 10 kills and the chicken dinner in game number four. Congratulations to them. Absolutely delightful play.